You know, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. I wasn't sure it was going to be good. But I was pleasantly surprised. Episode 1 of the Yu Yu Hakusho live action on Netflix was surprisingly pretty solid. Um, they changed the story around a little bit. I mean, right off the bat, there's a big emphasis on this giant hole in the ground, which was not right off uh, the bat from the series. Uh, Sakio is there literally in the first episode. So is Tarukane. Um, and they sped up how long it took um, Yusuke to come back to life. That being said, didn't hate it. I actually enjoyed the show quite a bit. I thought the production was very good. The fighting was really good. My concern with Kuwabara was put aside because Kuwabara actually did act like Kuwabara. And Yusuke did a really good job. As you, Well, I don't know their actors' actual names, but um, they did a really good job. And... I'm going to have to wait and see how Hiei and Karama are in the next episode. But for the first episode, uh, I enjoyed it. The music was really good. Um, Botan being bubbly and everything was kind of funny. Um, and trying to... I mean... Okay, so first off, uh, Koenma is in his teenage form and not his child form in the show. Which is a little weird, especially because he has a pacifier, which, yes, that was from the series, but he was in his little kid form up until the Chapter Black arc. During the Chapter Black arc, he was, um, you know, adult form. Uh, also, having Sakio show up before the Dark Tournament, which, you know, yeah, there the, there is no Dark Tournament from the way it looks. It, you know, the first episode was focusing on the death and rebirth of Yusuke and taking out his first demon. Um, and it looks like the second episode is going to be the one involving, you know, Karama, Hiei, and Goki. Um, so it looks like they kind of really condense the different stories down. Apparently it's five episodes. Each one's like an hour plus. So at least it has a decent amount of time. Um, but it, I'm kind of like, kind of want more. If it's this decent in the first episode, we'll have to wait and see how the rest of it is. But pleasantly surprised. Um, I look forward to watching the next episode, which I will be starting when I have breakfast in a little while. Um, I've been a big fan of Yu Yu Hakusho since I was a little kid. In fact, I at this point, I think I like Yu Yu Hakusho better than Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I would probably put it in my top five. Um, and it's one of those few series where the American dub is actually really, really good. Uh, most anime, the American dub, especially lately, especially when you hear the same people over and over again, but that show knocked it out of the park. And I've loved it ever since I saw it as a little kid. In fact, I wanted to get the Dragon of the Darkness Flame tattoo on my left arm until I got skin cancer, and now I'm not going to try to have tattoo, like, not get any more tattoos, because I don't want to, you know, increase the chance of getting another bout of skin cancer. Um, but I was going to have the Dragon of the Darkness Flame tattooed on my left arm, wrapping around the whole thing with its head coming up onto my, um, right up onto my knuckles and stuff, but not, you know, not to be, but a uh, huge fan of the series, and I would 100% say the live action's not bad, at least the first episode, uh, worth checking out.